on the anthony thing as well though he is the most frustrating player because he obviously has the ability he obviously can you see it in, you see it in flashes where he's like he's quick he can pick a pass he can he's a, got a good shot on him like he's he can beat a man but he just he just seems to make the wrong decision more often than not like he'll take the shot when the pass is on or he'll try and squeeze through a pass when there's space to run into or he'll go outside or inside or hold up to it for too long i think that the jury is out. He had more bad games than he had good games last year, but he wasn't all bad. Um, I'd, no. I'd, I'd give him a solid six out of ten from last year on the on the whole of it. But he needs to step on. He can't keep performing at that. Like, do you know, do you know what? I I made a reference to this on on Twitter actually earlier during the game, and there is like I was I was memeing a little bit, but I do. <laughs> but for me, there is an sure element not. of truth. There is an element of truth to it. And I've just got to call it how I see it. Everything you've just said about him. I, Myself and many West Ham fans have said the exact same thing about Saeed Ben Rama. Oh yeah, and like obviously Anthony, you can tell has got more ability than Ben Rama, and on his day he's got more, you know, he's got more class and all this sort of stuff. But it's that inconsistency, it's the it's the decision making, it's the getting a little bit predictable at times with the cutting in on his left foot, and once defenders figure that out, relatively easy to defend against. Mm. There's no, for, for me at the moment, honestly, mate. There's not an awful lot separating them. No, I, and I think I'd when agree. you think, and Anthony's obviously got the bigger, he's playing for the bigger club, much bigger price tag, much bigger reputation. Played for a bigger club even before he played for. Uh, uh, I want to say a bit not a big club than United, but like he played for a big club prior to United as well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. As, at what point, like, because for, for West Ham with Ben Rama, obviously we can afford to kind of have this inconsistent winger. Who, it's like, well, it's all right, because at some point he'll pull something out of the bag and win us a game. I don't feel like United can afford to have that. They need someone who delivers on a lot more regular basis. Yeah. At what point At what point does it become another Sancho situation, where it's almost like we just can't keep picking him? Yeah, uh, so, well, like I said, he, I think he had an okay season last year. Um, five, six out of ten. He can't do that forever. I think he, need, he does need to step on. He needs to show an improvement in consistency. The one thing he does that, like his the way that like uh, Ten Hag likes to press from like press from the front and the, the pressing triggers he knows that and that was one of the, the big things he did well last year and I think that'll be one of the big things that he does well still this year and one of the reasons he keeps getting picked because he he knows what the manager wants to do but yeah you've got to have a better output as a forward at Man United I think one of the big things though is we Ten Hag has shown that he is a ruthless player he will drop he, a ruthless manager he will drop players he will take them out he will give other people a chance i th i mean you just you just spoke of sancho there i think today like i think in pre-season and today he's looked better than he has done since he signed hmm. uh when he came off the bench today he was making things happen he was he was he, he wasn't going past people but he was finding like nice little passes like give and goes passes through the lines like he, he nearly created a couple of chances at the end he looked way better than he has done in a long time at united he had he had the odd flash here and there but if you can, if he can keep up that that performance, he could take his position. That's, I mean, that's the nice thing we've got. We've got Rashford. Who's, you know, when we've got a strike, either another striker in or Hoyland's fit, you know, Rashford will be going out to the left. It opens up wingers for the right. Um, so we we have got options. It's not like oh, we have to keep playing him there. And yeah, like I say, I think I think Ten Hag has shown that he will drop a player if he's not if he's not performing. Um, yeah. but I agree. I, he, he needs to show something else. He needs to show more. Yeah, hundred percent, and uh, I think the United could definitely do with a few more incomings. I think for, between now and the end of the window, um, I think it, it it makes the Hoyland situation a lot more interesting though, because I, I I I love Rashford. I don't think I, I, there's something about him where he's just better off the left than he's playing for the middle for yeah. me personally. And I think having someone to play off of like a Hoyland, I think it could be really really interesting how that goes as we go further into the season, but. I don't think it's quite panic stations yet for United, but and hopefully, I'm sure Ten Hag will Ten Hag will know that that wasn't good enough tonight, and oh, I'm sure he'll be on him. I'm like sure said, he'll be on him. Like I said before, we start of last season, we, we were dreadful, and it just got better from there. So, like all, all I can hope is that the same thing happens. Like we start not at our best, but at least we've not been beaten four 0 by Bournemouth. Uh, by yeah. Brentford, sorry, uh, that'd have been even worse. 